Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in and checking out my latest video. And this video is going to be boxing related. And it's going to be speaking about the May 3rd card between Floyd Mayweather and Marcos Maidana. I'm also going to speak about Amir Khan and Luis Colazzo and Broner and Molina. And give you guys some of my thoughts on these matchups and some predictions from a boxing fan. So let's get right into the Marcos Maidana Floyd Mayweather fight. And I'm first going to start with Marcos Maidana. So this is a guy, in his last fight, he has a big upset victory against Adrian Broner. And what he brings into this matchup is Marcos Maidana is a guy with a good overhand right, shows a lot of heart, very aggressive. His best attribute is when he's fighting inside on the ropes or has an opponent in the corner, a power puncher, and he probably will be in excellent shape because he's training with Manny Pacquiao's former strength and conditioning coach, Alex Ariza, and also has Robert Garcia, an excellent trainer, in his corner for this fight. And Floyd Mayweather is a guy coming off a very impressive performance against Canelo Alvarez in his last fight where he looked outstanding. Floyd Mayweather, defensive mastermind, one of the most intelligent fighters in the ring, also has great hand speed and foot speed and always is in great shape for his fights. So how do I see this matchup going down? Ultimately, I think Marcos Maidana does have a chance to win a couple of rounds early on if he can back up Floyd and get him on the ropes or in the corner. But as the fight progresses, I see Floyd Mayweather starting to adapt to what Marcos Maidana is doing, changing his defensive positioning and posture to see his shots coming, and making adjustments to counter Marcos Maidana. And one thing to note as well is Marcos Maidana at times throws wide punches. So Floyd Mayweather, the accurate puncher that he is, will come back with some crisp, clean combinations right down the middle while Marcos Maidana's punches are going wide. And Floyd just, I see it like a normal Floyd Mayweather fight. He just will adapt to Marcos Maidana's style. And he's going to see what's going on, make the necessary adjustments, and Marcos Maidana will get caught in his type of fight. But one thing about Maidana that people should know is he is not going to quit. He's going to keep coming after Floyd Mayweather the whole night unless Floyd Mayweather stops him. And that's a good attribute to have against a fighter like Floyd Mayweather. You've got to keep pressure on him throughout the fight. And ultimately, I think Maidana will have some moments in the fight when Floyd Mayweather is on the ropes. He can land a couple of combinations. Hopefully he works the body because that's what you need to do when he, Floyd Mayweather is on the ropes or in the corner. But ultimately, I think Marcos Maidana's downfall will be his hand speed and foot speed are not up to the level necessary to beat Floyd Mayweather. Also, Floyd Mayweather has a ton of advantages in this fight. Number one, experience. Hand speed and foot speed for Floyd Mayweather. Boxing IQ. Also, his defense. There's I could go on with tons of things that Floyd Mayweather has an advantage in this fight. The only thing he's lacking advantage-wise would be Marcos Maidana has more power and I would say is maybe a better inside fighter. Other than that, Floyd Mayweather possesses all the other attributes and skills needed for this type of fight to have a victory. So ultimately, I think that Floyd Mayweather wins a wide unanimous decision, which will be sort of an entertaining fight because Maidana is never in boring fights and that's why I always check his fights out and I'm a fan of him. But Floyd, I just think, is on another level than Marcos Maidana. But we're going to have to wait and see. You never know what happens. Marcos Maidana could have a puncher's chance in this fight, and we're just going to have to wait and see. The next matchup I'm going to speak to you guys about is a fight between Amir Khan and Luis Colazzo. So in my opinion, this fight will be the most highly contested fight on the card. We have Colazzo, a guy whose stock is at an all-time high, in his last fight where he defeated Victor Ortiz by knockout. Also, Colazzo has been in the ring with Berto in the past and Ricky Hatton and is a southpaw. So I'm really intrigued to see how this fight goes down. Amir Khan is a guy. Excellent jab. He's quick. The problem with Amir Khan in the past is people who have watched a lot of his fights is when he's boxing smart, he wins rounds. Like you saw that in the Danny Garcia fight. He was boxing technically and then he decided to get into war. And that's when his chin doesn't hold up is when he's getting in these fights with punchers that have a better chin and are stronger than him. And ultimately, he needs to stay away from Colazzo knocking in, into wars in this fight if he wants to win. If he fights smart, though, I do believe Amir Khan can win this fight. And I think that 
I'm going to take him in this matchup strictly due to his speed advantage, and I feel he has more skills than Colazzo, but really tough fight to call. And I also don't really like the recent performances from Amir Khan under Virgil Hunter. I thought he was better with Freddie Roach. And he's moving up to 147 pounds, so we're going to really have to see what he looks like at that weight. But I'm going to pick Amir Khan to win a close decision. Colazzo's a tough guy, so... Really can go either way. Colazzo's training at Fort Jackson, so he's going to be in tremendous shape for this fight, and I'm really looking forward to this fight. Adrian Broner and Molina. I think Adrian Broner wins this fight quite convincingly. Molina has been brought into this fight to make Adrian Broner look good after he got his ass kicked by Marcos Maidan in his last fight. And Broner, I think, wins a wide unanimous decision. Unless his confidence is completely shot. That's the only way I think Adrian Broner loses this fight. So just to recap, guys, on my picks, I have Floyd Mayweather by wide decision. I think at the most, Marcos Maidana wins four rounds. I also have Amir Khan by a close decision, and I have Adrian Broner by a unanimous decision as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know what you guys think about some of these matchups. How do you guys see these fights going down? Give me some of your thoughts, guys, and thank you very much for checking out the video. I appreciate that.